my next drawing is where I'm going to take my compass and I'm just going to place it right here in the middle of that and I'm going to draw a circle around that there because I'm going to actually take that part out and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to zoom in on it so the scale here is 1 is to 50 but I'm going to zoom it in here to a scale 1 is to 20 which basically means that I have to go back to my drawing here and I've got to look at my my um, incomplete foundation slab and what I need to do is that I want to erase all of that uh, scaling to 1 is to 50 and now I'm going to scale it down to 1 is to 20 right so I'm going to take all these dimensions and scale it down to 1 is to 20 let's do that quickly I have now scaled all my dimensions down to 1 is to 20 so the 3 20, uh, 230 divided by 20 gives me 11 point something which I rounded off to 12 the 500 divided by 20 gives me 25 400 to 20 700 to 35 250 to 30 and 500 to 25 now I'm going to take all of those dimensions and draw here so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to draw my my foundation which is 35 by 13 so I can start anywhere anywhere here so let me just do a starting line and on that starting line I'm going to have as I've mentioned here 35 and 13 up so there's my starter point and then 35 would be there I'm going to draw a line up and a line up like that and 13 is going to be right there that's my 13 point and there I'm going to draw that so that's my concrete there and you will find that my concrete on top in the middle of my concrete which is there I'm going to I have my wall now wall is 12 so I'm going to go and do the 12 um, what I'm going to do I'm just going to fold this perfectly like that so that I have it here on my side here. so 12 so firstly I'm going to take my my 30, 35 that I have a 35 and get my perfect half which is going to be 17 and a half which is right there and then once I have my half I'm going to take my wall which is 12 and do 6 on the one side and 6 on the other side 6 on this side and 6 on that side gives me a perfect 12 which is there and now I'm going to draw my wall right up um, I can take an even a little bit more right and then to get to my natural ground level I've got a measure from the bottom 25 up so from my um, bottom of my concrete 25 so there's my 25 and I'm going to draw that there and that there so before I go any further let me darken some of my things so there's my concrete block that I have I can darken that immediately I can darken that side that's my concrete that I have there I'm not going to darken my wall yet I'm going to do my um, natural ground level and you can see it, it wings this, the, the wall it goes either side of the wall and then there's my wall now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put this because that looks like that this is on the inside here I'm going to swap this around to that side here but I'm going to use the measurements 500 to the to top and 400 creates my, my um, concrete slab that goes halfway into the wall so from the top of my from the top of my of my concrete slab 500 which is 25 so 
So I'm going to go 25, which is there. Right? And then 400 is going to be 20. So it is going to be there. So I mark my two points clearly. But remember, I'm going to draw the lines on the inside here. So there's my lines on the inside there. And remember, it goes halfway into the wall. So halfway into the wall is probably there. So I'm going to cut it off right there. So I'm going to darken that as well. That's my slab. Halfway into the wall. And there my slab goes. That way. And that way. Okay. There it goes. Now, um, I know for a fact that my DPC is on top, so I'm going to have a thick line just on top, up on top there. That's my DPC. I will write here on the side here, MGL, and that's going to be my DPC. Those two are very important to label. All right, and then from here, the height which I'm going to prescribe to you is going to be the normal height of a wall which is in reality 2 meter 500 2 meter 500 which is 2500 divided by 20 and that gives us 125 so from here from here I'm going to have 125 which is going to be right there. I'm going to mark it off there. And that's where I'm going to chop off my, my wall. And then I'm going to bring my wall down dark. The outside first, right down, fill the concrete, and then right down till there, and then the other side of my concrete. Um, this I can stop here that doesn't have to go further that means it continues that way um, I will now have my different symbols in here remember that is going to be 125 from this point over there my concrete will have this symbol dots with triangles in there and that is going to be dots and triangles in there as well. My compacted hardcore is going to be line up, line down. It's a zigzag line up. That's a symbol for compacted hardcore. That's the a layer underneath which has been compacted so that my concrete can lay firmly on it. Okay, and then I'm going to do my soil here. One, two, three, like I said. And then one, two, three. And the same here. One, two, three. And turn. One, two, three. Okay. And then we are going to put in the hatching for the wall, two lines, gap, two lines, gap. I'm just drawing it very fast, two lines, gap, two lines and a gap, two lines and a gap, two lines and a gap, and then lastly two lines and a gap there. And then lastly here is a one millimeter on top that's my screed um, I'm just going to draw it one millimeter like that there that's my screed and I'm going to color that in like that that's the smooth layer on top of my concrete here it's not uh, evident because it's so small that you won't be able to see it it will just be a thick line but here you are able to see it so you can just color it in like that all right um, and that basically concludes your section view. It is very important to label it.
So you're going to print it here. Um, section through oh my spelling is incorrect here sorry let me just go do that again section there we go through a load bearing wall and then you're going to print the scale there as well which is 1 is to 20 okay so I've just drawn it roughly but you will be able to do it perfectly if you follow the video thank you